His name is Otto. He's playing Pablo. He loves to get Blato. That'll be his motto. If he makes the spare, he'll get free gelato. Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Really? That's the script we're going with? Okay. This is the history of Otto. Oh, Otto, you're such an odd one. Here we have a character from the very, very early years, one of those season one secondary characters the show really pushed. But unlike characters like Principal Skinner and Moe, Otto never got much character development. He never really got a variety of jokes to deliver. He could have definitely done worse, I suppose. Otto just kind of settled into his role, kept driving that bus. So why didn't his star shine brighter on the show? Is there actually any depth to Otto, or is he just a one-note joke about drugs? Let's all light up, pop in some heavy metal, and take a look. Otto's first appearance was in the Season 1 episode, Homer's Odyssey, showing up to drive the kids to the power plant. It's a hilariously stereotypical Otto appearance. Talk about a character they got right away. He's late because he stayed up partying, woke up with a new tattoo he may or may not remember, currently listens to his headphones, and then drives them on a confused roundabout through Springfield. He shows up again in Bart the General to listen to Bart's complaints about cupcakes, even scoring one for himself. In the later dream sequence, Otto is one of the few people who actually seems sad Bart is dead. Then he appears in the crowd in the telltale head, remarking the completed statue is a beautiful man. And that's it for season one. I think the biggest difference between the very early Otto and now is the sort of childish mystique around him. Otto is treated like this institution, almost like those kids shows where there's this random wacky adult the kids admire for some reason. In a couple early season two episodes, he serves as a kind of confidant for Bart, someone Bart bounces ideas off of. He's asked for advice about being held back. He's the first person Bart tells about jumping Springfield Gorge. It's clear why Bart feels comfortable telling him about this stuff. Otto's reaction ranges from, don't worry about it, to, cool! It's clear right away that Otto is extremely mellow and laid back, not really thinking about adult responsibilities, just kind of assuming everything will work out. Hakuna Matata. Sorry guys, I'm legally required to do that now. We get a lot of Otto's side hustles around this time, like driving everyone to the baseball game, taking the old folks to the casino, working the bloodmobile. I always forget that he's not just the driver here, that Otto manages to draw Bart's blood correctly. I guess Otto is good with needles. It's just that he always sticks to driving related or mechanical tasks only. Like later, he'll drive the pool mobile, drive a boat, work the parking lot, operate a carnival ride. In terms of the stuff the writers will let him do, Otto has a niche. He does definitely like to party, that's something they showed off right away. He'll even go to parties hosted by kids like Bart and Milhouse. That's how much he likes to party. Honestly, his close relationship with the kids could have come off as creepy, but Otto is so darn aloof and off in his own world, it never ever feels that way. Maybe season three were simpler times. They did start to shift to him being more of an adult-oriented character around this time, though. We start getting jokes about his girlfriend dancing topless from 415 to 420. The drug references start flowing out of him. Otto's usage of drugs gets ramped up dramatically as the seasons go on. At the beginning, it's all pretty much implied. Maybe it's heavy drinking, maybe he's constantly stoned. There's just kind of a haze around him. Nothing is shown. It's like, Otto's cool. We get what his deal is. Does it really need to be said? It's not until season 7 and 8 where we get more pointed, specific references. That's where he'll think he's having an acid flashback. His shoes will start talking to him. He'll beat us over the head with a sign joke. These middle seasons mostly stuck to being referential. Whenever there's a scene where drugs might show up, Otto gets a nod. Naturally, when the medicinal marijuana show came around in season 13, Otto was all over it. Of course you're going to have him chilling out in the attic with Homer. Otto ain't sitting this episode out. After this point, though, I get kind of bored with Otto's drug references, to be honest. I feel like he's more fun when it's just baked into his character, where you just assume something is up, just due to his behavior. It's cool we can have more edgy stuff on the show. It just seems a little gratuitous sometimes, very how do you do, fellow kids. Makes him less subtle as a character overall. I guess it's hard to go back once you break that seal. 
Honestly, sometimes it feels like the writers really, really hate Otto. In many episodes, they go out of their way to portray what a loser he is. This is probably my least favorite aspect of his characterization. There's an argument that Otto is portrayed as an even bigger loser than people like Mo or Comic Book Guy. At least those guys get the upper hand sometimes, a character arc, or learn a lesson. Otto just kind of fails at everything and gets kicked around. He'll get booted from the O Streetcar musical, he'll get kicked out of the Pin Pals, get vomited on while sunbathing, or is found squatting in the Simpsons house. They don't even go for out of character jokes with him, where he'll unexpectedly say something insightful and smart. His first and only Spotlight episode in season 3 is basically all about what a loser Otto is. In the commentary for The Otto Show, one of the producers suggests that this is the episode that might have killed Otto. I don't know if that's true, he still continued to appear as consistently as he did before, but yeah, it did kind of cap his ceiling on being a major character. The story basically riffed on the two things we knew about him, his poor driving record and his love of music, and then portrayed him as a deadbeat for the rest of the story. Otto doesn't really get a time to shine, he mostly succeeds because Patty hates Homer. He's a little like Ralph Wiggum, where you can tell the writers don't think they can convincingly sell an achievement story. They threw up their hands and said, that's it with this guy. Season 3, it's officially over. Otto has had a few spotlight moments over the years, however. Nothing like the Otto show, but they'll occasionally throw him a bone. In season 11's It's a Mad 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 Marge, Otto proposes to his girlfriend Becky, and they host a wedding in the Simpsons' backyard. I guess his relationship with Barney didn't work out. I kinda hate this episode as a whole, the back half is pretty darn stupid, but Otto is surprisingly good in it in Act 1. They crank up his fixation with music up to 11. It's charming what a heavy metal dork he actually is. It's more passionate and oblivious Otto rather than burnout loser Otto, even though his parents might think they're the same thing. This is a really nice callback, by the way, to that opening line about his dad being an admiral. They get Otto's character right during this moment, where he thanks them anyway for stopping by. I think that's the key to Otto. He has to be written with a dash of obliviousness, that he either doesn't notice stuff or isn't just worrying about anything. Otto's gonna have a good time. Therefore, one of his stranger and more assertive roles was in the season 18 premiere episode. In that one, he meets Metallica on the side of the road and offers to give them a ride. Bart steals the bus and drives it to school. Metallica goes off with true fan Hans Molman instead. Otto is so angry that he ends up repeatedly spanking Bart, which causes him to get suspended with pay. It's pretty weird that Otto would resort to this. I guess hitting Bart was all the rage around this time. They did push him pretty far by breaking his cassette player though. Otto is obsessed with his music. Interestingly, we also learn that Otto keeps a gun with him on the bus. Maybe there's a darker side to his personality. Now Otto is definitely not a dark character tonally. We talked about the drug stuff earlier, but that's all more drugs fun rather than drugs dangerous. And when he wrecks the bus, it's more kids running away rather than all the kids are dead. Okay, maybe Uter's dead, but that one wasn't Otto's fault. They did play around with the darker implications in the season 22 episode, 500 Keys, where we learn that Otto killed a busload of 24 students. Or at least Otto thought he did. There's this big conspiracy at the school where Skinner lost a bunch of grant money, so they made fake facilities with fake students out of mannequins. When returning these mannequins, Chalmers made Otto take a dangerous route over an ice bridge to avoid a late fee. The bus crashes due to the weight, and Otto thinks he killed the 24 students. Okay, so that's pretty messed up in general. Otto spent the last three years or so thinking he killed a bunch of kids. Chalmers is kinda evil. The writers didn't intend for this episode to explain the why of Otto or anything, but it's the closest thing to a backstory we actually get with him. Maybe the reason Otto is so mellow, smokes so much pot, is to deal with the guilt of this past event. Maybe he just wants to forget, doesn't want to worry about this stuff anymore. I don't know. Like I said, not much of a backstory with this guy, but that explanation is there if you want it. Otto is clearly a tragic figure. 
I think the reason why Otto never became a bigger character is partially due to his role, partially due to the demographics of the show. Like think about the ages of most of the characters. The Simpsons is mostly a show about adults in their 30s and 40s, as well as elementary age children. Makes sense, all the secondary characters have to branch out from the family characters. There are some teen characters, there are certainly elderly people, but the show doesn't have a ton of use for these young childless adults. They are really underrepresented in the cast. Being in his late 20s, Otto can't really relate to a lot of the other social groups. When Homer starts a cover band, he'll get a bunch of parents his same age. It's probably why it feels weird sometimes when The Simpsons tries to do more trendy material, like for teens or young adults. It always feels too old for the kids, or too young for Homer and Marge. Maybe they should bring back Roy. The other thing is that a lot of the other characters took over Otto's roles. Like he's steering the ship in that treehouse of horror, but you know the sea captain would be doing it now. A character like Gil will show up to do random odd jobs. Mo gets all the loser storylines. Willie became the dodgy and dejected school employee. Honestly, Willie probably stole a lot of school jokes away from Otto, the more popular he became. So really, all Otto got in the end was his bus as a set piece, his love of extreme situations, and drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. And his gravelly voice might have done him in too. You should listen to some of the recent episodes. Otto's voice is definitely going down the Marge trajectory. I think this is one of those situations where I don't really mind that he doesn't get a ton of focus. Otto does work pretty well for those little pop-in cameos. He definitely brings a different flavor that a lot of other folks can't provide. He's a very good contrast character. Springfield has a ton of harsh personalities in it. Otto is refreshing for how mellow and easygoing he is in general. I think that's why I get bummed out when the show dumps on him sometimes. Goes out of their way to portray him as a burnout loser. I mean, this stereotype definitely exists. You can make fun of it. But the satire is less fun for Otto, you know? He's not a tyrannical business owner. He isn't sarcastic and mean to the kids. Otto's just cool. Stop harshing his mellow. Let me know in the comments what you think of our favorite bus driver and some of his best moments. I'm personally fond of his reply in Bart Gets an F, how he enthusiastically proclaims, Now I drive the bus. Great delivery. Mine's terrible. I admit, I actually do like Otto a lot more after researching this episode. He kind of infects your brain after a while. Also, let me know who you want to see for the next Simpsons Histories. Here's some ideas I had recently, but I always need your suggestions. Let me know who you want to see. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go get a snack. Just talking about Otto gave me the munchies. See, I get to make drug jokes too. Thanks for watching.